November 11th is Veterans Day, when we pause for a few minutes to remember and reflect on the sacrifices made by the men and women who served in the armed forces during times of conflict. Begun initially after World War I in 1918 to mark the cessation of hostilities of the war to end all wars, since 1954, the date and time, 11 a.m. in the morning of November 11th, when the armistice ending World War I went into effect, has been observed as Veterans Day to honor those who served. Each year, the Harnett Fowler Post 6471 of the Veterans of Foreign Wars in Manchester holds a ceremony to recognize the date. This year, the ceremony was made special by a flag retirement ceremony led by the local Boy Scouts and Cub Scouts. Tyler Keyes, the senior patrol leader for Manchester Troop 332, led the ceremony as the flag was retired. And then there's one more piece over there on the on the table. Matthias and the rest of the troop 332. If you guys want to hold that up and retire it, you're welcome. I just shot my hand. Hold up straight. Look out. Okay, just slow that slowly and good job. Now salute, twice, then salute, three seconds. <laughs> then the attention of the crowd of onlookers was turned to the formal ceremony, led by the post commander, Peter Giotti. All the vets that served in this country, whether you're a combat vet or just a regular veteran, doing your part for America. I have a guest speaker after I have a prayer. Chris Conti, follow me, Chris. Chris Conti, a past post commander, led a prayer. Uh, good morning, please remove your caps. Dear Lord, our God, we lift our voices to you in prayer today to remember our veterans and honor their valor and bravery, representing every walk of life, men and women alike across the generations. These honorable souls answer the call to serve in a righteous cause protect their country and people in times of war. Lord, we ask you to place your graceful blessings upon them for the selfless service they gave and often the supreme sacrifices they endured on behalf of us all to preserve our liberty, ensure our security, and our way of life in this great country. With grateful hearts, we ask you to remember the bright souls of those who gave their lives and to those who place your protective hand on those and to place your protective hand on those who continue to serve. We ask for your blessings on our veterans and their loved ones. As we pray for our veterans, we are aware of the bitter calamity that war brings for all involved. We pray for the day that when every conflict will end, when all vulnerable are no longer threatened, and the meek are no longer subject to attack. For you are the King of Peace, and we give all glory and honor. He was followed by Stephanie Casey, the head of the Post's Auxiliary. Good morning and welcome. My name is Stephanie Casey. I am a life member here of Auxiliary 6471 and currently the Department of Vermont Auxiliary President. Today we honor the heroes of our past and present, the selfless sacrifice that countless men and women have made and continue to make for our daily freedoms. One day to honor men and women who leave their family and friends behind all in the name of freedom. Spouses are left behind to, to carry the load and raise families. They are heroes too. Our veterans walk amongst us every day. You pass them by. You may smile and nod to the veteran with a military ball cap on. Please stop and say thank you every chance that you can get. They want to hear it and they deserve to hear it. November 11th is only one day, one of 365 days in the year. One day to honor, remember, and recognize our veteran service. Every day should be Veterans Day. We are lucky enough to enjoy our freedoms every day. Thank you. Have the Champlain rifles. 
Then it was time for the traditional series of rifle volleys. Ready. Aim. Fire. Boom. Ready. Aim. Fire. Afterwards, we had a chance to talk with Post Commander Jotty. Well, Veterans Day is, is mainly, you know, in, in World War One is really where it got November 11th. Uh, Veterans Day. But Veterans Day is for the li usually for the living guys, but it's for all all that serve. Memorial Day, we we honor our fallen, but Veterans Day we get to honor all of us that are still alive. For the GNA TV News Project. I'm Andrew McKeever.